hatches uh, were closed right after uh, this uh, farewell ceremony. The uh, space station's uh, solar arrays uh, were feathered or placed on an edge-on position that will prevent them from receiving any inadvertent pluming. Again, the video, uh, the camera now uh, inside the hatchway to the Soyuz TMA-10 as a person currently in his 135th day in space, his 133rd day on the International Space Station, will be returning home on the shuttle Discovery in a few weeks with the rest of the STS-120 crew that will uh, deposit uh, to the International Space Station NASA astronaut Dan Tawney who will uh, join Whitson and Malenchenko. Okay, we started the stopwatch. Monitor. Undocking confirmed. GSO readiness is on. And Soyuz TMA-10 undocks at 2.14 a.m. Central Time. 220 miles over Central Asia. On the dock in port, as far as we can judge. Okay. Between the TMA-10 and the International Space Station. 50 seconds. Before firing. This view now from the uh, camera on the starboard truss of the International Space Station. You can see uh, the Soyuz emerging from just behind one of the large solar arrays on the Zvezda service module. Undocking occurring on time about four and a half minutes ago at 2.14 a.m. Central Time. The ghostly image of the Soyuz TMA-10 against uh, the backdrop of the Earth as it continues its separation rate from the International Space Station. Okay, stop on Moscow, let's go again. Moscow, uh, station Moscow on SG-1. Go ahead. Yuri, it's on the ground. And five minutes ago, a helicopter landed right next to it. Landing now confirmed. The Soyuz has landed. This is Mission Control Houston with an update, uh, word being received from the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow that the official landing time was in fact 5.36 a.m. Central Time. That would have been one minute short of what uh, would have been the nominal landing time. Uh, the ballistic trajectory sending uh, the Soyuz to a point uh, uh, just under 400 kilometers to the west of the nominal landing site but the landing uh, took place uh, safely. The crew is safe on the ground. Uh, it uh, landed almost in an upright position, uh, slightly canted, we are told. Uh, one helicopter on the ground, others uh, soon to arrive uh, to continue the uh, process of uh, beginning to safe the vehicle and extract the crew.